destroys him. But the only matchup I could really think of from range heroes would be like Razor now. Um, yeah, there's not really that many heroes that. Spirit. Okay, so it is Storm. All right. Well, you're on the money, CC. Line. Yeah. Secret already getting themselves in a position to zone Liquid out a little bit. Not going to be able to get to the creep block, that's for sure. Pylai dies, still hoping to Whoa. challenge that, but he's going to run into three heroes. Not what he's anticipating. They're going to pull him back, but now the Purge is going to hit both of them into the double stop. Oh, Pylai die and Puppy, what did you think you were doing? They tied their fates together, and now they both may end up going down as Bulba's going to chase down and get yet another Purge off. And that'll leave Kuro, if necessary, to throw down another stomp to finish off Puppy's life and say, yeah, he goes oh. for it. Hook stops, but the right clicks are still there, and a double kill goes to Bulba. Yeah, it, it was only early on. He also, in the first wave, tanked like two or three even um, remnants. One of his Q was on cooldown, so it put him like half HP. And sort of like it's a weird place where the storm actually has a little kill potential, so he had to like back up and miss a couple CS for it. Uh, hook goes out, actually snags Matumba man. That was a long range one. He does have wave for him though, and he'll turn around and just kill Puppy. Meanwhile, MP's battling it up against Kuro. Kuro's not dead yet. Shadow Demon will get the last hit, and they get the Luna in return. Unable to get Matumba man though as well, and that'll mean a two for one exchange at the bottom lane. Oh, yeah, mid lane, they're actually gonna go for this one. Kuro's gonna go out with a stomp. Well set up. Surely this time around, Miracle will get himself a bash in one of these hits. Not even necessary. Played claim to the kill, five to one now. Yeah, in this bot lane, even though um, Thoman has gotten a couple of pick-me-up kills, um, they fed away a few kills, he's definitely buying a CS uh, Luna, that uh, the Lunar Blessing damage really coming into play, and they're just, you know, it's really hard to last it whenever you have two heroes with the same damage as oh, you. Oh god, miracle! Um, just to be able to soak experience. Oh, we'll talk about that in a minute because mid one. Oh no, the buck choke. It wasn't quite long enough. They're going to throw down the Beastmaster Roar and barely have enough damage to finish him off. Miracle, two more seconds till a time walk is up. He gets a little bit of heal and will be good to go. Meanwhile, Mind Control, he's going to be one in serious trouble. Miracle. It's more of like a tool to like get heroes to six or, you know, sometimes you can just like sit a lion down there for a long amount of time if you have other heroes to make so you can get towards the blink. You don't really have much catch, stuff like that. Um, for like timings, typically. You have to take these small skirmishes to get them to use ults and then turn that into kills and setting. Oh, Stomp's gonna go down. Mid one is forced to dodge. He does manage to get the right click. They'll get Pudge in return. Waveform forward. Matamba Man actually challenging mid one, but now Fred's gonna be able to jump in there with him. He has a replicate out, trying to separate his hero from the replicate. He's surviving for the meantime, but needs to be able to jump away. Last second, gets a jump. Waveform's out. And meanwhile, it seems like we're also just uh, a little bit slow on our rotations for Liquid. They keep on missing out on clutch timings they will manage to get a primal roar on the pylai dive stomp will go down but midwan stays ahead of it going straight for bulba bulba does have his ult and forced to use it here in which case midwan is just going to turn for the kill on my control instead midwan completely out of mana though the corner here is going to go down on pylai die miracles damage is needed though to help out midwan he'll turn around after executing pylai die makes the jump forward midwan no real escape here as the spirit's going to be on one side and oracle on the other jumps can't make it over the leap and will manage to be caught there there by the Oracle Miracle. Meanwhile, two more seconds. They have the pure damage burst. Forev, a little bit more mana for it, but the time walk is away, and Forev may not have any more mana to go for it. It's going to be Puppy left out in the cold as once again Bulba's going to be the other side, sandwiching the hero. They're on bottom, pressuring the tower. Long jump in, we'll be able to find Bulba first. The Orca goes down on mind control. Really well played by mid one, but unfortunately the Necronomicon minions eat through his mana so quickly, but they've already taken two. Can they get a third Matumba man? He's certainly not going to be a target. Kuro would be a better one. Fred gets the Chakram onto him. A little bit of help from Pylai Dai. Pylai Dai in trouble from Matumba man. First damage on Kuro, not quite enough. The Glimmer Cape is enough to make him escape. And Pylai Dai, he's the victim in return to the Morphling's aggression. Right back up to top lane. Miracle's able to get the tier two. The camping this kind of area, both mid and bottom. But I'm sure we're going to have a fight before that because Secret are four-manned up. Embers, I'm sure, is ready to go with the boots of travel. 25 seconds, maybe not. Four more seconds. They've got Miracle dead to right. Maybe they can go for more. Team Secret, mid one, sitting pretty healthy in mana. Can make the long jump forward here. Hook, oh. not barely. Um, deal with the lane so they can bear on the rush pit. Grab gonna be pretty... spotted here, unable to get away. He actually maybe burst it down. No bloodstone suicide even. Goes down that quick, and that's the help right there. 
Yeah, Liquid realized that they were trying to do that. Just nobody could be top because the they knew the timber was going to rotate oh, around. Oh, 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 oh. The power of pure damage against the Morphling right there. Timbersaw blinks in, gets his nice Chakram duo, and then Pudge with the long range hook is able to hit him as well. Now Miracle's going to be caught out, Orchided, unable to defuse a blade and split up in time. Puppy snags him with a dismember. Yeah, it's probably more important, right? That's a more integral part of the strategy right now. It's just how are you going to high ground push? Miracle picks up the sneaky shadow blade. Might just have a beautiful chronosphere, but his team isn't fully in position to defend. He goes for Whoa. pilot die though. That's the important hero. Still will manage to catch up the three man chronosphere and almost pops MP as well. MP gets up the eclipse, but only for a second. He goes down mid one and forever. Going to be left to try and carry out this team fight against Liquid, but it's not looking great. Maybe forever gets bashed up mid timber chain. Jumps away there from Miracle. Just a little bit of time away. Away from the timber saw who's forced to commit suicide via bloodstone uh liquid you know forcing oh jesus puppy what a snag long range into the enemy base gets kuro one of the better high ground defenders and now secret just file on him they go for whatever else they can get it's gonna be bulba not outside of the fountain he'll go down and mid one may be low on mana but it doesn't really matter anymore mp is here for the backup those raxes just disappear and they're gonna make it so easy they're gonna end this game before anybody comes back up no mega creeps nothing silly like that they're just gonna go ahead and go straight for the throne and with aluna they can certainly do so to jump out my control goes and tries to eliminate pudge it's not actually enough though and he will manage to survive the buybacks out miracles now alive one more second but the roshan or excuse me the radiant ancient about to go down secret back up a little bit leave the illusions to make the commitment here they know that a big chronosphere is the only way liquid can stop this game from ending and they've caught miracle he's down and now secret stream forward once again matumba man with his ethereal blade tries to get back to the fountain but it's really just delaying the inevitable whether he dies or not this game should be over and secret catch another one kuro he's gonna go down my control oh he goes down instead bulba chose to save kuro Curl throws out the stomp, and now the throne will go down, and game number one is taken by Team Secret. Yeah, they got a couple of key pickoffs on the Morphling uh, earlier on, slowed down some of his.